Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included. And there's something wrong. Um, I wonder if you guys can see it. Um, I'll let you take a look for a bit here. I'm gonna have to fix this problem kind of right away. Uh, I did cut off the water supply here to my oxygen maker because we've got nuclear waste in the water line from the salt water on the other planet. Things often work for a very, very long time and then they break. Um, so I haven't been over at Herbaria in a while uh, and I took a look and I noticed the oxygen in the base was like cut off and that was my own doing. I cut off the oxygen line right about here when I removed something many cycles ago but I also was putting solid nuclear waste in here to warm it up to turn it into a liquid to then get rid of it and I forgot about it and it turned into a liquid and I think it spilled over into the water supply got sucked up by our salt water pump here so we gotta check this line here do we have any more so that salt's cut off I'm not this was a water weed experiment which I retired uh, let's go along here any more nuclear waste in there no okay I think we just have to deal with it in the main line here so, plumber, time to do some plumbing. Uh, we're gonna empty these little bits of nuclear waste out of the water line. Hopefully they only remove the nuclear waste in... Oh yeah, here it comes. So that might turn into nuclear waste again when it heats up. Ah, oh, they're doing a good job. We have a lot of plumbers. Oh no, now they're just removing regular water, I don't want that. Moving on. We'll clear this line. It's interesting that it's running backwards. Okay, we'll uh, cancel that. Come get this bit here. Oh, they probably... Oh, things are breaking. Things are breaking. Okay, cancel that. This episode is going to be about the nuclear rocket and the interplanetary thingamajigs, uh, which I'll show you in a sec here, once we get this fixed. Let's they clear this nastiness from our water line. We almost got it. Oh, there's a little bit more trickling in here. Oh, it's in the, in the desalinators. Crap. Uh, time to fix it. Uh, okay, what are they doing there? Removing that. We don't want that. As long as they remove this bit here. They should get everything. If it's reachable. And that's solid nuclear waste. We want to sweep that right away. They're going to take that to the top and get rid of it. Nuclear uh, gives you a whole new set of problems. But it's fun. Let's uh, sweep this part of nine. Oh, it's turning into a liquid nuclear waste. It's right at the edge of the temperature of turning from solid to liquid. Yeah, this guy can probably stop. That will stop. Uh, let's plumber this up. Okay, that little bit's gone. There's just this last little bit here, which should be reachable. Oh no, they're not allowed in here. Okay, we'll let them go in here. So they can deal with that. I haven't been letting, letting them in here because I don't want them to go and get all the little bits of slime. Okay, these guys are going to be mopping forever. So we'll have to cancel that. Cancel. Okay. Always good to start the episode with a small emergency. And they should be able to get that now. Yep, that's gone. Okay. Let's check the, these things. No nuclear waste in there. No nuclear waste in there. That's good. There's a little bit of nuclear waste in that liquid lock here, but we'll just leave that for now. It's kind of all over the place. I think we're right at, yeah, the edge of temperature ranges there. Now we got to reconnect the oxygen. That's important. So we'll put the bridge back here. Get that hooked up or we'll uh, have a disaster if we don't hook that back up. There might be some nuclear waste got, that got sucked up up top here. Yeah, there's some right here. Mm. And something... Oh. 
my aqua tuner. <laughs> this melted. This whole area melted. Wow, my aqua tuner died. Hmm. Well, it wasn't just one thing. I didn't even notice this. Like I said, things run forever, and then they stop running. Ah, uh, so the aqua tuner. I guess things just got too damn hot. I don't know how. Uh, okay, is this gonna be right? If we put it, is that where it was, or was it right here? It was right here. Wow, it got really hot here. Maybe some nuclear waste got in there. I don't know what happened there. But we'll repair it. We'll repair it. So it goes in here. And if it can't, it goes up here. And this should go there. Yeah, that's all good. Power line got melted. Oh, this line will have to get repaired. This whole room, pretty much. Okay, we'll set that up. That'll queue that up. Priority 7. Let's queue that up. We're replacing all this so we can get to 50 kilowatts. Because right now we're at... 20 kilowatt max on this line, and we're often spiking over. Let's do this. I did do some stuff off camera. I wanted to make sure my use of nuclear rockets was good before doing the episode. And I learned some interesting things about nuclear rockets along the way, which I'll show you here. Okay, this is going to be a thorn in my side here. Nuclear waste. Uh, just got to get it swept before it liquefies again. I can't even select it. Uh, come on. There it is. Uh, sweet. Priority 9. They might get it in time. Okay, while they're doing all that wire, we'll go up top here. Oh, this is going to fry. <laughs> all these heavy watt joint plates need to be replaced. Fix that. Upgrade that to the good one. Let's see, get rid of the old one. We gotta remove it first. Circuit overloading. Yeah, we're just under 20 kilowatts at the moment, but we often spike over, which is causing a whole host of issues. We do have a lot of dupes, though. Speaking of dupe, let's take on a new dupe. <laughs> we'll come back to the power fix in a bit. Um, choose a blueprint. Oh, I'd love to take him, but... Uh, what do we got here? Noodle arms, Luddite, Undigging... It doesn't really matter at this point. We've got so many of them. The little people. The little cute dupes. All their little... Cute animations. Okay... Um, food is off the charts, as you probably noticed, so I've removed some of the hatch farms because I don't want them to eat all my materials. So these two are retired for now. I dug up all the mushrooms that we were digging down here. So hopefully we'll see food starting to go down. But up top here, this is what I, the main core of the episode was going to be this. So last episode we had the nuclear reactor going and blowing up. And what was the issue? I, I cut the water supply off to it twice, which was bad. Not what you want to do uh, with a nuclear reactor. So what we got going on now is the, the water that's coming off these, these steam turbines. The priority is to go back into this reservoir made out of steel, which feeds the nuclear reactor. So we're siphoning off this, the, basically the steam, turn it to 95 degree water, recycle. So this should be infinite. And we've got decent pressure in here, 13 kilograms. Not quite enough, we probably want to get some more going on in here. You'll notice uh, my petroleum uh, here got messed up. Oh, this was the other thing that was missing last episode. I didn't have this bit of liquid here, which helps conduct the temperature of the coolant. So with the liquid dribbled here, it makes a big difference. These are all about pretty full bore now. I'll have to mop this up and replace it with petroleum easy to do, but I'm not going to do it just now. Uh, this was overheating during startup, but it's been fine since. As long as you leave a little bit of um, liquid here, it's fine. I had to remove this tile. Francis John's design had this tile built. What happens is 
The liquid doesn't flow nicely over to this corner. So the automation gets messed up. And it's kind of messed up right now, in fact. This should really be piling up. We should be letting this pile up. Speeping back up. Yeah, we want a nice uh, full tile across of nuclear waste to keep temperature stable here. I should have put a joint heavy watt joint plate in here to help spread the temperature. Steam's at 200 degrees right there. Mm -hmm. Pretty hot. But it's uh, maybe a little bit too hot, actually. Hmm. Not cooling quite enough. And maybe it's because this last turbine isn't running. Maybe we should fix that. Otherwise, things might get too hot. So we'll mop this up. And the petroleum, I guess we'll put in... I think I can safely go back in here. This was underneath the nuclear rea uh, rocket. So I tested the nuclear ro rocket out here with all these background tiles. And the problem is, is it gives off a giant plume of nuclear waste in the form of gas, which cools down and rains and nuclear fallout everywhere, which is pretty terrible. You don't want nuclear fallout all over the place. So I moved the rocket and I'll show you in a sec here where that went. So we want to remove a tile probably here, so I can fit a bottle in here, in here, oh that's all gonna leak down, okay, uh, oh, they never finished, you know what, we could put it right here, forget the mopping for now, we'll take this ladder out, and we'll dribble a bit of petroleum right here, in the center, Sure, that'll be good. It could be that there's not enough steam getting to the end here. The pressure in this whole thing might not be high enough. 19. I had it at 30, and then I think too much water got in here. We could introduce more water to the system. That's not a problem in there. Okay, let's remove this tile and get some petroleum in there. Not too much, but just enough. Oh, there's a bunch in here they can grab. I wonder if they'll grab this petroleum or run to the bottom of the map to grab it. We shall find out. But generally the reactor's been working pretty well. Um, this is new. I put this in. These are all the collectors, and I haven't really been using them much. Okay, here we go. Here's the petroleum going. Let's see if this thing gets fixed. Uh, not really. So it's more about the steam pressure at the edge here. And less about the petroleum. Okay. Good to know. So these guys, uh, they've been collecting, I was filling these up to, to power the nuclear ra uh, ra rocket. And you can see there's a whole bunch of rad bolts in here. I've got an on-off switch here. Um, while these are off, they, co they continue to collect and that's why there's so many rad bolts in here. This is a really good place to collect the rad bolts right above the reactor because the radiation here is pretty good. 144, 127 rads per cycle. There's also a good place in the sides. But I wanted to show you something interesting that I noticed. So I moved the rocket up here. It's a really stubby rocket because the height for the Radbolt engine is quite a bit less. I think it's 20. Range remaining 20. Sorry, the range is 20. The height is max 20. But you don't need any fuel tanks. The fuel is part of the engine. So you don't really need a lot in the rocket, but um, it's full because I was filling it up here. Oh, this melted. Interesting. Or did I? No, that melted. Hmm. Oh well. There's no way for it to cool in space here, so that's kind of an issue. So we're going to send this rocket uh, 
Let's see here. Let's change it to crew. The reason it's here in space is that it gives off a nuclear plume, which you can't see yet, but you'll see in a second. And the nuclear plume stays forever until you reload the game, which is definitely a bug, I think. Okay, we got that. Uh, let's set the destination. We are going to go... We can go 20 tiles now, so we can go way the heck down here. Let's go right to the edge of space here. Maybe here in the middle, nine tiles. We'll go there, and then we'll scan around there. Let's launch this sucker. Let's make sure we got oxygen and food. We got... A good amount of berry sludge and oxygen. We got lots of oxalate. I think we're good to go. Danny, you can take that suit off. And let's get going. Oh, the oxygen pressure is really high in here. Oh, I fixed the save lag as well. Well, I didn't. But I installed a mod that helps the save lag called uh, Fast Save. I thought it wasn't working, but I just didn't have the most recent version, and now I do. Got water for the toilet. Okay, let's launch this sucker. Begin the launch. Uh, launch sequence. I love the sound of this thing. Here we go. Isn't that cool? I love the sound of it, but look what it leaves behind. Oh, it, now it works! What the heck? This game is so unpredictable. Well, last night when I was playing and I launched the rocket, uh, it left a giant plume. Oh, it was when it landed. So when it comes back down, it'll leave a giant... I think it'll leave a giant plume of... Um, radiation. We'll see. Hopefully we can see it uh, by then. Uh, the, but anyway, if it, it is a bug, I think. Or is it? That the radiation sticks around. I'm not really sure. There's no gas for it to collect into and then dissolve, so... I thought it would just disappear in the vacuum, that's why I built it here. But then when I landed, it hung around, so we'll see. We'll see. I think it's a bug because it didn't stick around during takeoff there. And if it did, you'd have infinite rad bolts from a single launch, and you wouldn't have to worry about radiation ever again. You can just... because it's a lot. You'll see if it works. Anyway, we got rad bolts down here, and I've hooked up t two of these interplanetary launchers. These things are awesome. I love them. Um, I s set them up because at Grassado, which is the third planet we colonized, um, we ran out of sand, and we ran out of building materials. Because there's not much here, as you can see. And eventually we'll run out of oxygen. Because there's no source of water. And the algae will run out. So what I'm thinking of doing to keep this colony alive is to send oxalite. <laughs> fire oxalite off. But we need even more building materials here, I think. So let's uh, send off some igneous rock. I built some conveyor rails here. They're full of igneous rock. And they're being loaded down here, where we got some temperature and air. So up we go. Um, these are full. You change the planet here, where it's going. Pick the planet you want, but it's already picked, so... All we need to do is add some rad bolts, so I'm going to turn this on briefly. And you might see some radiation clouds up here, just watch. Let's slow it down a bit. They all fire. Oh, you saw a little plume of radiation there. And there. But it's in the vacuum of space, so... It might be fine. And the excess just goes off into the ether. So they got a nice little cleaning animation, and then they'll fire. I'll slow it down for the firing, because it's pretty cool. The cleaning animation actually lasts quite a while. Oh, oh, there we go. Pretty freaking cool. Um, okay, let's watch those go on the star map. Here they are. Oh, oh. Oops. Uh, the wrong key. <laughs> there they go. And on the other side, you need um, a beacon, which I built on the top here. 
It needs line of sight. It needs like a cone, I think, of line of sight. I tried to build it here, it didn't work. I guess I could put it above the solar panels. That would probably work, but this is a pretty short run for them. So we'll see them land. They ran, land roughly on the roof here, and they don't cause any damage. I built this little observatory room for the telescope, but I scanned everything around this planet, so I decommissioned it. This is new since the last episode. This is a pretty standard cooler. So there's water in, water in here. This is made out of steam. And I'm using polluted water as my coolant, and that just cools the base. There was no way to cool this um, this base otherwise. There's no like ice. There's no no easy way to cool it. So I built one of these. It was pretty energy intensive, so I built a few extra solar panels up here. And so far, it's been pretty good. I've been keeping the temperature at around let's see here, yeah, around 20 degrees, which is nice. It was getting warm up here, so I used radiant pipe right up by the grill. I should add some radiant pipe right here if we got it. We don't have much gold left. We should pr probably fire some gold off into the uh, into this base. Oxygen has been good, and that's because we're making oxygen out of polluted water bottles down here, using the trick where you uh, build reservoirs and then disassemble them. I am trying to suck up all this water, but not too much. We want to let this, the fish survive. And I want to drain this water down into this tank once we get it low enough. Now if I was really adventurous, you'll notice the save is much faster now because of that mod. If I was really adventurous, I'd go down here and try to tame these things, but I'm afraid of the magma, <laughs> to be honest. Probably need some uh, exosuits if we're going to do that. Yep. Uh, there's a tungsten volcano here as well, somewhere. Right under here, I think. We don't really need tungsten. Uh, it would be fun to go down here. There is a way to build into the magma that's safe. But I saw Francis, Francis, Francis John do. Oh, here's the uh, can opener from the payload that is up here. So here's our igneous rock here. 200 kilograms per payload. Not a whole lot of material, but it works. And then I've got some conveyor rails that just dumps it on the ground here. How's that rocket doing? Are we going to get anywhere in any... Decent amount of time. Four cycles to get there. And then start scanning. I do want to settle another planet. Um, Floody Ole. I don't know what's on this one. We could go to the ice one. That could be cool. No pun intended. I don't know what I'm going to find under here. Well, we got some food here. Not that we need it, but... Uh, we could send an exploratory mission here with a robot and see if the robot could dig down. I think that would be a good plan. We have to bring the rocket back, though, from the other planet here. We could put it here, I guess. Rosado. We'd have to send one of the pilots back. We could switch to completely nuclear rockets, that would probably be better, and retire the petroleum. So I might change this rocket after. So let's send this back. Uh, Jackson, I think we'll want to put on here. Who's our crew? Ja Jackson, okay, crew. Set to crew. And we'll make this not grounded. Okay, Jackson's ready. And where are we going? We're going back home. Change location. I like to go to orbit first. We'll go to orbit first and then we can pick our landing pad. Do we have to go back first, I wonder? Uh, do, do we actually? Yeah, yeah, we have to go back first before we move along. Okay, let's launch this. It's gonna get hot here. 
Field, limited oxidizer, okay. This is all a vacuum here, so... Mostly a vacuum. So this probably, hopefully won't get too hot around here. We'll find out in a second. Obsidian... Yeah, it didn't get through, so this area got, got hot, but that's fine. This will all leak into this vacuum here, so... We're good for temperature. This door got pretty hot. We should put insulation along here, actually. Because that's gonna get hot. Hot, hot, hot. And that'll leak into the base. Yeah, we don't want that. So maybe we want some igneous rock insulation here. And how much do we... We're really limited on materials, as you can see. Like, there's not much to build with. We'll let them do that first. This is kind of priority nine. Because that is going to eventually cook the base, and we don't want that. This door is problematic, but... What are you going to do? Okay, rocket is off. I think I'll retro make it a nuclear rocket. If we can fit us all the stuff we need on it. We basically just need a trailblazer... I mean a rocket, a robot module, and that's it. Oh, we need some insulation here as well. Already known. Okay. And I want to keep those shipments going between planets, so I'll keep toggling this manually. I could automate this, and I should. We could put it on in some kind of timer. Like once a cycle, maybe, so that it fires these and then... We'll see. I'll just do it manually for now. The other thing I didn't really talk about was the nuclear waste. All the excess nuclear waste is going up here in an insulated pipe. It's dumping some heat here. This wasn't part of Francis John's design explicitly. He put this stuff in a infinite liquid storage to get radiation out of it. I don't need any more rads, so... I'm just sending it up here. And this tile is full. That's not good. And the rest uh, goes up here and just dissolves into space. Who's scalding? Oh, yeah. I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe we'll cancel that for now. Get out of there. It's too hot. Get out of there. We don't really have a medical bay on this map, so no easy way to heal. But I was thinking of putting something in here. Uh, you know what? Let's put the tiniest of tiny triage cots in here and hope that it works. And we'll continue on out here. I'm gonna build a room eventually. We're gonna... Probably this whole area up top I'm gonna turn into a uh, proper bedrooms that don't look so janky. <laughs> and some more amenities. In fact, let's change the floor out. This is space under here, too. Hmm. Let's use granite. Party 9 right here. I'm only doing a little bit at a time. I don't want too much oxygen to fly out the side of the... into space. Okay, Amanda, you should get on here. I don't know why it shows the dupes from other planets. It's kind of lame. It should only show the dupes that are on the planet you're on, to be honest. Dig Amanda, dig Amanda. You should be down here somewhere. There you are, ineligible. Let's bring this up to... Oh, that's some lag. Dealing with that. She should be at the top now. Maybe. Yep, there we go. Priority 9 on the medicine. Get you all cured up. And let's put some more tiles in here. Let's 
I think I just heard the rocket over here. Is that possible? Nope. It's interesting the sounds you can hear out in space. I'm pretty sure it's the sound of people in the rocket, but dupes in the rocket. I probably should have stopped here to take a look. Or can we look at it? Oh, yeah, we can look at it. Hmm. Magma. It's a planet of magma. I know Francis John is getting into the magma in his playthrough pretty heavily. I'm afraid of magma. I played with it before, but... You have to be quite careful. Where you burn all your dupes. Okay, let's toggle this again. I should really automate this. Huh. Fire off some more material. Okay, the other planets have been kind of neglected here. We've got uh, this one, which I've been just strip mining. As you can see, not very successfully. Uh, let's mop this up. And we'll start demolishing. Can we demolish stuff? No, we don't have a demolisher. We could train someone up, I guess. Yeah, so the plan for this planet, no real plan. Uh, it's mainly being used for uh, nuclear stuff. Nuclear... Oh, that vessel... Vessels. Sorry, bad joke. Okay. Uh, yeah. I kind of cut this off because it got too cold and it was overflowing. But yeah, the bees are busy down here doing their thing. Oh yeah, I was digging down here to get open this up so the bees could get in here. Let's do this. Let's dig this open. I just realized these bees can't get down there. These bees are trapped. So let's open this up so they can get down here and start chewing away at all of this. I think what we'll do is probably dig into here. I don't want to dig it too much. Because the bees will eat the rest of the uranium. You know what, maybe I'll just open this up completely. Yeah, we'll just get rid of this door and let all these bees crawl in here. It means this this is going to be connected. Oh, this broke open. Okay. So they could te technically fly everywhere here. <laughs> Let's seal this up. Try to keep them separated here. How much uranium? Yeah, they've still got lots of food to eat here. We'll clear away some of the ice so they can get in here. This isn't in their way, but... For a moment. Okay. They'll work on that. And hopefully the bees can get down there. Uh, I also opened this up. Gotta let the bees get down here. I don't want to dig the uranium, so we'll dig this out a little bit. And let them get to that stuff. And maybe clear a path through here. So they can start eating this. Looking good. Uh, there's something down here. I think this is a CO2 geyser. There's a bit of CO2 here. Uh, I think there's like 100 tons of CO2 <laughs> just waiting to be uh, exploded. Uranium ore, 7 kilograms, 42.2. Yeah, they're still nibbling away. We're not going through the ore very quickly. This reactor, when I started, I had 28.2 tons. Now we're down to 27.5. So it's very fuel efficient. Definitely need some more steam in here, though. I think I'll reconnect this here. You know what? We'll use a proper liquid valve here, I think. Like that. And we can trickle in some more water. Try to get this pressure up a little bit, but not too much. I have hydrogen in here. 
Oops, that's not good. That doesn't belong in there. Let's toggle this again. Fire off some more goods. Okay, we'll check on our rocket here. Rockets. Okay, one's almost home and one's getting there. So we'll see what these things are. Uh, we did do some mining. I need to put the artifact collector. So we can get some of these artifacts. What's on this planet? Did I already look here? Oh yeah, this is like the... <laughs> regolith. I'm going to need this planet, actually. For filtration medium. This is damn hot, though. Jeez. It's a very active asteroid field. This will be interesting one to uh, colonize. We don't need it for a while, though, because we have... Let's see here. We've got 220 tons of sand. How much regolith do we have? Rego. Rego, my Lego. Uh, 38 tons of that stuff. Yeah, we're good for filtration for quite a while. We could make it. We could manufacture it as well, but we could grind stuff to sand. And there's a regular thing I mined up as well. Quite a bit, actually. Quite a bit. But yeah, we're okay for filtration stuff. I should really start strip mining this. Now, why did I insulate this little bit? But not all of this. I guess because there's this light here. I don't think it really matters now. Maybe we'll head over this way. And just do the old strip mine. Because it's fun. And we're going to clear this entire map. Unless I give up. Okay, let's go here. That's going to fall down and maybe get some traps, so we'll be careful. Yeah, we'll get that cleared out. Did I do this right? Is this the right ladder? One, two, three, four. No, what's going on here? Let's make sure we're on the right... The right ladder thing here. One, two, three, four, ladder. Ladder. One, two, three, four, ladder. This is in the wrong place. And this is in the wrong place. Okay, we'll do this again, but correctly. Gotta have them every four, right? That's all granite. Gotta have them every four, but made out of igneous rock. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Okay. It doesn't, it's not gonna line up with the top. But as long as it lines up with the other stuff. That's probably good. What priority did I do that at? Nine. Mm, that's probably a little bit much. Let's do six. Six on that, and five on the digging. Okay, we'll have to do that exciting stuff. Oh, something was broken there. Oh, what happened? Overheating? What just happened? This has been running fine for, I don't know, 30, 40 cycles. And yet, it just broke. Maybe the radiation blew up in here when I did that? Let's try that again. Did a pipe break? Oh. Oh. I think this got too hot. Um, hmm. Well, we could stop doing that and send it here instead. Exactly there. Uh, like that, please. Yes, that would be good. I was trying to capture the heat out of that. I don't want to necessarily go back in here because the steam will... Blast out the side here and boil this area. So we'll leave those as is. Just gonna leave those rad bolts right away. Unfortunate that that happened. So the actual collector's fine. It's the pipe that's messed. 
And we can retire that pipe. We don't need it. We'll leave it in the wall, as the plumbers do sometimes. A funny real-life story. Um, the piping in our place was quite old and eventually kind of dissolved. It was part of the old building code, but then the new building codes don't allow it, but this building I mean, is pretty old, so... The piping eventually dissolved, and what they did was they pulled new piping through the old piping. Which is pretty cool. I mean, you lose a little bit of pressure when they do that, but... The alternative was uh, breaking up a whole bunch of concrete and re-plumbing the house, which would be, have cost a ridiculous amount of money. We got water in this. Are we sucking up water out of here? Do we have water in here? Oh, it's because I'm dripping it in from here. Turn this off. That's okay. That's okay if a little bit of water goes through there. It's not the end of the world. It's alright. It's just going into space anyway. Okay, that's good. Should just fly out the edge into steam and... Yep, good. Perfect. Where's our rocket? Okay, our rocket is ready to land. Let's make sure we land on the right pad. Okay, we'll see if the nuclear thing happens here. Land here, please. Oh, this dupe might get fried. <laughs> get out! Get away! <laughs> Run away! Is it landing? Here it comes. Oh, that's not the rocket I wanted to land there. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. It is. It's okay. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. What I wanted to show you was something else, but... Okay, we're going to deconstruct a lot of bits on this rocket. Uh, let's go full speed here. So that's coming out. That's coming out. That's coming out. And we'll see what else we can fit on there. This thing can go height 35. And I think the nuclear can only go height 20. So we have to be really choosy with our modules. The petroleum age is ending, the nuclear age is beginning. Okay, that's a little stubby rocket. Let's put on the nuclear engine, please. Radmold engine, priority 9, build. Yeah, I think I'm too high already. So we'll have to... Is it complaining already? I think it's gonna allow it. But we don't need the trailblazer for this mission. So we'll... Take it off, I think. They're gonna build this thing. Let's see. Find out in a bit here. And I need to repoint this reflector so that it goes up instead of to the left to fill this Radwell engine. And we're going to fill it really fast because these things take a lot. Oh, he changed his mind. He got hungry. <laughs> Let's send off another packet. Let's make sure that water is all good. Uh... There's some kind of build order here, which they're never going to be able to do. So that should be able to go that way. And it won't go that way because that's disconnected. Yeah, it should. Should be fine. Should be fine. Did the pressure go up at all in here? Yeah, 33. Okay, good. Okay, perfect. It's not running full bore, but it's... I think it's still heating up a bit we added a bunch of more water. Okay, that's good. Got that pressure up. Get more power to this thing. I don't need any of this power, but actually that's not true. These things suck up 480 watts each, so... But I kind of overdid it with the collectors here, I think. 
I think one or two would have been fine for the rocket. Okay, is this thing good to go? Height, 20 of 20. Oh, it's at uh, max height. Module stats. Large cargo bay. I wonder why it's showing this. There's no cargo bay on this thing. Okay, let's fill this thing up. So this one, we got to point to the right. And we got to make sure... Oh, wait a minute. Not to the right. We want it to point up. Point up. And then it's going to fire right in here. This magical port. Okay, I think we're good to go. Let's toggle this. Bing, bing. Let's see how many we get. Okay, we got... Uh, 477. We'll leave it on a little, a little bit longer here. Oh, look at all the radiation just fly out of that thing. Hmm. That's not good. Nuclear fallout. Oh, we got nuclear fallout in this container. That's not good. Mm -hmm. Well, how many Rad Bulls do we get? Oh, not enough, actually. Let's toggle it again. We'll do it in little bursts. Oh yeah, it's falling. It's falling out all over the place, actually. Creation. Got nuclear fallout in the in the container. We might have to rip this open and go inside. My setup is probably far from optimal. <laughs> it's my first time playing with nuclear uh, rockets, and I probably don't need to fill this up all the way. But we'll do it anyway. One more toggle. Should be good. And we're full. Range 19. Oh, we're not quite full. One more flip of the switch. Okay, now let's reorient this one left. And give it a toggle. These things doing their their duty. Okay, this rocket. We got the rover module. We could send two rover modules. That would be smarter. Trailblazer. We will need a trailblazer at some point. But let's send two robots instead. I think I'm going to deconstruct this. Two robots are better than one. Check on our other planets here, make sure everything is good. Oxygen's good, temperature is good. Mm, we're getting payload. Let's queue up some projects for them. Oh, there's a little bit more we can do here. Right to the edge. There's space under here as well. We'll do this out of Igneous Rock. So that's all we got. And we'll let them go out into space and build some stuff here. Now, is that going to fly into space? This might need to be a wall. What is right here? Tronium. What about here? Vacuum. Mm, okay. And here? Tronium? I think we're okay as long as we seal this hole. Oh, no, they're going through this way. <laughs> we'll allow it. So we'll probably want to pile here. Got an igneous rock. So this will be the edge of the new room. Probably want a ladder up here as well. Well, I'm not sure yet. We'll see. Probably want a floor along here and we don't want them to get trapped in there so we'll do it like this 
let them hold their breath as they're out there. Space exposure. This slime could gas off. No, it doesn't gas off. What am I talking about? Okay. That's probably enough for them to get going without getting dead. <laughs> as they seem to do. And then we'll move the bedrooms up here, I think. Make clean it up a lot. Because right now, the, yeah, it's really not nice. We should probably get a proper artist, too, to clean up these paintings. Even though these are charming. Charming paintings. Uh, we got space behind there? No, that's, that's fine. Let's fix this up a little bit. Even though we're going to retire it pretty soon here. Dig that up. Put a little space behind there. I think we're good. I've been growing mushrooms for the uh, the tree here. And actually, let's see how many spare mushrooms we have. Stale, stale. Hmm. We don't have a whole lot of spare food, but we could put... Uh, let's put... Um, let's see here. We'll feed a bit of mushrooms to the tree. And they're going to rot anyway, so let's grab, I don't know, 15 kilograms of mushrooms. Edible fried mushroom, 15, priority 9, yep, and this one's priority 8, so they should get it over here. And then what I've been doing is I've been deconstructing the floor and dropping it into the tree here. So deconstruct this. This is not a smart way to do it, but it is a A way. And then you should gobble that up. And then the resin actually comes out of his little... ...things here. His, uh... What do you want to call these? Output... ...ports. He's got 50 resin in him. I forget exactly when it pops out, but... ...I had to mop it up. Here's some resin on the ground. Which we'll use eventually. I made it so they can't stand here and get beat up by the tree. They can only come down here and below. So they're pretty safe. Put this back on. I built this at the wrong height. Should be like this instead. Oh boy. Now, will they get stuck if I do that? We'll see. <laughs> we'll find out. I think they'll be okay. But I think we'll uh, leave this planet and go check out our rockets here. Okay, this rocket has made it to its destination. And what did it find? A sandy ore field? I think it found this. Artifact, sandstone, copper and stuff. Uh, we got some uranium ore here. Coal and refined carbon. Helium cloud. You can bring back some hydrogen. Hmm. I wonder if it's in liquid form. Or solid. It might be solid. Okay, we still haven't fully discovered the whole map yet. Let's send this rocket back if we're done scanning. Let's... Oh, oh, oh. Are we done scan? Yeah, area complete. Okay, we'll send this rocket back. Change destination back home. We'll put it in orbit. Okay, could maybe stop along the way, but we'll just go home. And what was the suffocation warning? Probably just them outdoors working, because it went away. Yeah. Now, are they going to get their heads stuck? E probably. Yeah, they're stuck. Oh, man. Get out of there! Get out! 
you a little dummy. Okay, we'll have to be a little bit careful here. The build orders. Uh... Food. Starvation. I don't believe it. It's possible. No. Auto starving? No, you're just in the bathroom. Just taking too long in the bathroom. Go eat, you little... It's a party in the kitchen. Oh yeah, this thing overheated. Uh, just before I started recording as well. And I changed it over to steel. And I dumped some ice in there. And that seems to have solved the problem temporarily. Band-aid solution. Our Draco population is off the charts. They're shaved little bums. I know we're supposed to put hydrogen in the top here to get their scales to regrow, but as you notice, I have almost 2,000 reed fiber. <laughs> Don't really need the reed fiber. And we got uh, 70 tons of plastic. Don't really need more plastic either. We got a whole dedicated geyser just to reed fiber down here somewhere. Where is it? Down here. So whenever this kicks on, we grow a whole whack of this stuff. Oh, I did strip mine. There was an uh, ice biome up here. Right here. Which I strip mine, as you can tell. There's a little bit left of it. I left a few sleet wheat and the native weaswort. And I put a weaswort in here. I might put some more weaswarts up here. Just to keep this area cool. After we save. I guess we should get that rocket going. Let's add... Oh, they can't reach it. Yeah, I probably didn't need to fill it all the way. Let's toggle this again, though, so we can get these going. Oh, we're going slow speed, that's why things are taking forever. Like, why is it going so slow? Because I slowed things down. Okay, can I reach it now? Hopefully, yes. I think this will be my screenshot. Yeah. Get these in there. Get a dupe in there. Too bad all this stuff is blocking the rocket. Okay, we're gonna add one more bit here. Oh no. Okay, we somehow got around the height restriction. Okay, no, we didn't. Engine's height limit reached or exceeded. What is the height of this rocket? Height 17 of 20. Yeah, we should be able to add another uh, rover module here. There we go. Add that. Probably no. Don't need to use steel, but we've got a ridiculous amount of steel. Let's put a ladder here in case we need to access this in the future. I think they can already access this, no problem, but we'll put a ladder there. Okay. We'll be sending this off pretty soon here. To the ice planet. Oh, we're at the one hour mark. How the heck did that happen? We're going a bit long though. We're gonna get this thing launched. And the other rocket is. Oh, look at our things flying through space. Love it. Uh, other rocket is gonna take a while to get home. Pretty slow going in this late game. Colonizing asteroids. I think the series is getting pretty close to the end. I wanna get playing some other games and.
feel like I've done quite a bit. I do like trying to see how sustainable everything is though, once you get everything set up. Get everything in balance and then just let it run. Food's not an issue, oxygen's not an issue. Oh, more, we need more dupes. We need more lag. Let's get this lag in here. Who should we bring in? Athletics 9. It'll be fast at least, Marie. What are we up to? 77. Clunk. We're good to 90 for oxygen. I think these guys are making most of the food now. Let's see. Barbecue, 1.4 million. Oh, and frost buns. This, this farm is actually working. I did the math wrong on these. Uh, when I built this thing, I talked about it. I haven't even completed it yet. Maybe I should complete it. Um, I forgot that these gave off 18 grains each instead of one. So my calculations were off by 18. A factor of 18, which is just a minor error. Slight, slight error. Okay, do we have everything we want here? Unreachable storage. It's got a lander. Do we have to build a ladder here for these guys? I think maybe we do. I think we could, we could probably extend our tube up here a little bit. I noticed they can get blasted right onto the ladder. I wonder if that'll work just like that. We'll find out. Okay, is it reachable? Are we eating steel? There we go. And then they gotta build it. Can we pick what they build it out of? Maybe not. Maybe it t inherits the metal of the parent module? Oops, did I do that? Priority 9? Probably. Close. <laughs> Look at all these dupes. So many dupes. It looks like they can get blasted on the ladder there. That's cool. Okay, I think we're good to go here. Rover, lander, yep, yep. Let's get the pilot in here. We changed to crew. Oh, I did change to crew. Jackson hasn't been out of the Rocky yet. <laughs> Does it matter? Does he still have food? Lock crew, berry sludge. Yeah, you're fine in here. You're just fine. Interesting. Okay. I forgot to let you out of the rocket. My bad. Let's uh let's launch this sucker. After we set destination. Change destination. We're going to this icy planet. Yes. Into orbit. Begin the launch sequence. Oh I love the sound. Radiation went away. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it sounds so cool. What a great sound. What a pleasing sound. How long is that going to take? 2.1 cycles. Hmm. I think I better leave it in this episode. Uh, because I want to show you the beginnings of that exploration at least. Let's go full speed here. Don't know if it'll actually change the speed, but we'll see. Let's crank this out. Keep sending those building materials. Let 
many rods are in here now? 1600. Jeez. All the rods we'll ever need. I guess we could strip mine some more stuff here. But I th think I'll... I should probably clean this up. Oh, this is keeping our this area warm. But not warm enough. I do want to make some pinch of pepper nuts. Eventually. Uh, pinch of pepper nut farm. Take this out. There was a little bit of um, natural gas going into this area, but I've removed that. Could pump hot petroleum. Is it still hot? 36 degrees? No, it's not hot enough. This wire is no longer used. We'll get rid of that. But not the actual plate. Okay, good. Don't feel like I'm going any faster here. Let's see. Doesn't look like it moves any faster. So we'll stay at medium speed. It's better frame rate. Oh, we lost some steam in here. We're down to really low pressures. Hmm. Because there's no water here. Oh, I never hooked this back up. Oh, all the water's trapped at the top here. Okay. Along with nuclear waste. Do some steel over here. And we want this to be as long as it's above minus forty. Yeah, that's fine. Actually no, let's make it above minus twenty. I think it's gonna to take too long to get to this get that rocket to it in orbit, maybe. Oh we gotta replace this. Which is unreachable, I think. All these little repairs that need to happen. should generate some heat, which should generate some... I want to replace this. We don't have enough heat in here for this thing to work. I think we're out of lime here. We could make some tungsten. We could make ten tungsten. How much gold do we have? A hundred tons of gold? We can make some... Let's make some gold. Copper, copper ore. Holy crap, we got 239 tons of copper ore. Let's do 99 of these. I don't need any of this metal because we got aluminum from the aluminum volcano, but... Just gotta get this area heated up here. So we got all this water sitting here. At 98 degrees, we want to steamify that. Here we come here. 140 degrees. This should heat this area up. Get us some steam going. Overheat damage. 400 degrees. What the hell? Hmm. Not a solution, but it's a nice there.
I think there's just not enough steam in the air. Pressure's too low. So it's not getting rid of its heat very well. Let's just turn it off here. Uh, for now, while we fix things up. We're kind of in a catch-22 here. We, we need more pressure, but the only way we're going to get more pressure is by heating up this water. Now, why did I build it up here? I think because this was in the way. Mm. <laughs> oh, we got steam finally. There we go. It finally heated up. Okay. Now it's probably going to be fine. Yeah, temperature came way down. Okay. Let's get it uh, going again. Uh, minus 10. I think we need to dump some water on top of this thing. So that the steam is made here at first. Uh, but where can we cleanly do that? Right here. I think I need to reorganize this thing. It's a little bit. Uh, I think I need to move this aqua tuner to down in here somewhere, which means we'll have to move this heating loop a little bit. Yeah, I think I'll move the aqua tuner down here in front of this thing and maybe shrink the heating loop a little bit. That will be probably off camera, just some cleanup. How's our rocket going though? That's what we're waiting for. Are we in orbit? 0.5 cycles, we're getting there. So yeah, other projects I want to do before I finish up the series. Um, finish the strip mine. Pretty much close to doing that. What's left? Let's see. This little section, that won't take very long. A couple minutes. This another, other little ice biome we can get rid of. And this chunk beside it. I've left all the uranium in here for now. The bottom's pretty much done. And I guess this regolith area. And then what I'll do is take giant chunks of the map and turn them into vacuum... Vacuum cubes. Uh, like... This one here. I thought I had two of these. Oh yeah, the other one's right here. It's easier to see when you turn on the gas overlay. <laughs> vacuum, vacuum. It's probably vacuum out most of these voids to try to help the simulation speed. I don't know if it'll actually help. We gotta get this water out of here, it's in the way. How's our water level actually? Oh, well, it's pretty low. But we're bringing in water, we should be bringing in water. Yeah, here it is. From down below. Let's check down here. That's not the bottom, this is the bottom. We should be grabbing water from here. And half of it goes upstairs and half of it recirculates. Oh, this is getting very full. Jeez. <laughs> I don't, we're not even using this water because we're not making oil anymore because we're not using the oil. Hmm. I kind of have a solution for this. Someone is sawing outside. I think I'll just seal this in. It'll self-seal, actually, once this water level gets high enough. As long as we don't... Can they still get in there? Yeah, they can come down here. That should be fine. I think it'll self... self-regulate. Once the water level gets too high, this thing will shut itself off. Okay. 
We do have a hydrogen vent here, I never tapped, because it's 500 degrees. I usually record at night, but I'm recording during the day today, so... Three seconds! I just wanted to get this thing in orbit here. And deploy some robots. Please don't crash game. These things tend to crash. Let's put it right down the Zilla Valley here. That one. We'll make sure it lands before we send the other one because that's what crashed the game last time. Something overheated. Again? Okay, that one's landed. Let's deploy another one. Oh, we'll go right here. No crash. Is this thing overheating again? Yep. Oh, man. Let's just turn this off. I'll have to fix this off camera. <laughs> it's not the best design. Okay, new planet. Robots in disguise. Let's get you digging. Can you build anything? Do you have any building materials? No. What can the robots dig? There's nothing to build out of. Hmm. That could be an issue. What are they doing? Oh, they're doing it. Slowly. Oh, there's some granite here. Okay, good. I don't think they can take granite, though. No. We might be screwed here. The robots can't really do much for us. This one's very happy. We're very stuck. <laughs> God. Um, can they deconstruct their own thingies? No. They can't get up here. If all they have is granite to build out of, I think they are screwed. Hmm. No ladders for these guys. Uh, can they get down here? Yeah, they should be able to get here. <clears throat> and then dig down. Dig down, dig down. They sound like they're barking. Did you guys hear that? The barking robot? I'm gonna change directions here. Oh, we could deconstruct some of these maybe? Uh, I gotta be careful how we go here. <laughs> um, uh, they can go down here. Yeah, that should be safe. Where are you going? They are barking. <laughs> I swear they're barking. Down we go, down we go. We're gonna hit granite here. We're gonna have to go a different way. Well, I was gonna go this way. Can they deconstruct these? And what is this made out of? Granite! Uh, they may be able to build granite letters. I am going to trap them in here, because this is all going to fall down. But we're just trying to see what we got, got in here. We got a vending machine. We got some food. We're letting all the oxygen out. Can't build anything yet. But we do have some building materials here. What do we got here? Diamond. We have to go up and over. That's gonna cave in. I guess we don't have to go up here. You know what? Let's just come down here and get this. These are lead, okay. So with that granite we could build some ladders now. I think they can build some granite ladders. Where should we go? I want to get down to this stuff. Are we 
we can have it out. Get around here. Anyway, I gotta ep end the episode. What do we got here? Oh, iron volcano. Oh, we could we could melt this asteroid in a hurry with this thing. That's kind of what I wanted to do. This asteroid was melt it. And create a giant water world. Anyway, we're gonna wrap it up there. I've gone 20 minutes over. Oh my gosh. Next episode, we'll continue. I'll probably continue to dig this out a little bit with the robots off camera until they run out of batteries. In the next next episode, we'll get some dupes in here, maybe. See if, we, if they can survive. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Bye bye.